Hey everyone, welcome to the Guiding You Forward podcast. Today we're talking about all things credit. And thankfully we've got Jade Beckman here to guide us through our credit journey. Hi Jade. Hi Kristalina. So I feel like credit has always been, when I first started learning about it, I felt like your credit score was this thing that just was always over your head and the credit gods upstairs Mm -hmm. got to determine it for you. And it was just (laughs) what you were given, right? Um, That's not really the case though, right? Yeah, it's it's it has a little bit of mystery, I guess, behind it. But no, it's it's not. That's that's maybe what we can do today is demystify it a little bit. Ooh, I love that word, demystify. <laughs> so obviously, most of us have heard of the term credit score, and we know it's important, right? But what exactly is it, and how is it calculated? Could you help us out here? Okay. Well, there's the there's the generic term credit score, and that's yeah. probably mostly what we'll be talking about today. A lot of people will talk about FICO score as well and use those terms interchangeably, and that's okay. It's kind of like a generic versus a trademarked term. FICO is a one specific score. Okay. Um, it's a very highly used score, so it's okay. So if we talk about if we say that if we say credit score, FICO score, it's kind of the it's same. It's kind thing. of the same thing for our purposes. It'll be the same thing. Okay. 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 But basically what it is, um, lenders, right, who, who have loans to people, they report that data on whether the payment was received on time, what the balance is, what the limit is, things like that. They report that to credit reporting agencies okay, okay or CRAs. There's three big ones, and you've probably heard of them, Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian. Okay. Right. You've probably heard of those. I right? have. Yes. So that's that's their main job. Okay. So they're they are repositories. They take all of this information from all of these lenders that are reporting, saying, "Did Crystalina make her payment on time? Yes, she did. Here's her balance. Here's what her payment is. Here's when she opened the account. All of that kind of information. Okay. Right. So all of that gets aggregated with those credit reporting agencies. And then that's where the mystery of the black box of the score comes into play, right? So all of that information then goes into, you know, some sort of an algorithm and spits out a score that says, here's the likelihood that Kristalina is going to repay on her loans based on how she's done previously. Okay. Okay. So that's kind of the main setup. Now the score itself, how is the score calculated? That's a little bit mysterious, but it's but we can break it down and make it not mysterious. There's really three main components to okay. that credit score. First thing is your payment history. Do you pay on time? Okay. Do you make your payments on time or do you not make your payments on time? Okay. The second component is how much of your credit you're using. So think of it in terms of a credit card, right? You have a credit card that has a limit and you have a certain balance on that, on that limit. So say you have a thousand dollar limit and you have $500 on it. You're halfway drawn. Okay. Okay. Yes, I've used half of my You've used half money. of your available credit. Okay. Right? Available so, credit. So the lower that is, the more capacity you have, which means that you're not overusing credit. Okay? So that's a good thing to keep your limit, or sorry, your balance to your limit as low as possible. Okay. Okay? So if I have a bunch of credit cards and I'm maxed on all of those, I'm at the limit. It's not a good thing. That's right. It's not a good thing. It doesn't look as good. So that's going to hurt your credit score. So payment history, then your credit, uh, your balance to your credit limit. And then the third element is time. Okay. Okay. So, you know, if there are negative things reporting, the more recent they are, the more predictive they are, right? If they're farther in the past, then they're like, well, that's not, that's still a negative thing, but it's not as you know, not as predictive and not as telling right now. So those three things together, if you kind of manage those three things, make your payments on time, keep your balances not close to your limits, and then do all that for a long time, you'll have a good credit score. Well, I guess we're done. (laughs) Good grief. That's amazing. So when it comes to my credit history, and my credit score, mm-hmm. what really is a good score? Yeah, that's a great question too, Kristalina. And that's that's um, most scores, again, there's not just like, there's not one version of the score, but most scores that most lenders use run from 350 to 850. Okay. Okay, 850 is like a perfect score. 
I've never seen an 850, Do they exist? by the way. Yeah, they, that's what I was wondering. It's like a unicorn. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I, I hear they exist, but I've actually never seen one. I've seen some very, very close to that. But, okay. Um, but yeah, so there's, I don't know, maybe theoretically there's a perfect credit score. But so somewhere on that continuum, the higher the score, the better your score and the lower risk you are presenting to a lender. So probably the natural question is what's a good number right? yes where do i want to be right if 850 be? is unattainable right it's the unicorn <laughs> 849 <laughs> okay <laughs> no, no i really i think mo the average credit score depending on uh, there's different sources that will show that but the average credit score is probably somewhere say in the 680 or 690 range okay right? and that's a that's a decent score okay so if i would say if you you want to be in the 700s okay, okay? If you can kind of be in that mid to high 700s, then getting approved and paying the lowest rates, you're never going to worry about being one being approved and you're always going to get the lowest rates if you kind of are in that mid 750, 770 or higher okay. range. 750 plus. Yeah, that's that's okay. the ver that's the very best. But honestly, if you're in the if you're in the 700s anywhere, that's a good score and you're going to still get very good rates. Uh, in the 700s so that's okay. that's what i usually tell people is shoot for that 700 then everything above that just gets better and once you're kind of past that 750 range most of the time you're going to get the very best rates <laughs>